Hey y'all, it's Kasia and today I'm going to be showing y'all how I made this wig. So I started off with measuring my hair from front to back and I got 13 inches. Then I measured it from side to side, from ear to ear, and I got 12 inches. So what I'm going to do is, when I put the wig cap on my mannequin head, I'm going to make sure that it measures exactly 12 to 12 and 13 to 13 if I need to scrunch it up a little bit or spread it out um a little bit basically because it's stretchy and i don't want it to be too big but i also don't want it to be too small and i'm gonna be measuring from front to back i'm gonna be measuring to i'm not gonna measure it all the way down to that back loop i'm gonna measure it to to the um band so yeah keep that in mind don't measure it all the way to the back loop measure it to that band and if you want to measure your whole head to see what size mannequin head you should get measure it all the way around but what I'm going to start with doing now is moving the cap back and going ahead and pinning the closure down and sewing that into place. So I'm just pinning it on the right and then the left and then I'm going to pin it in the back middle and then I'm going to pin the two back sides and then I'm going to sew it down. Okay, so now that I'm done pinning that, I'm just going to be using this nylon thread to sew the closure on. I'm only using the nylon thread to sew the closure on. I'm not going to use it to sew the bundles on because it is kind of slippery. But I like to use it for the closure because it's really thin and it's not noticeable. So it makes the closure lay really, really flat. Okay, so I'm going to be sewing the closure from the middle to the end this is what I always do this is kind of like the same thing that I did with the frontal um, just gonna sew all the way around you don't want to start from the front and sew backwards because it can shift and it'll it'll make the closure lay funny on the wig and you don't want it to do that so just make sure you sew from the middle to the right or left and then the middle to the opposite side Okay, so now I'm going to start sewing the tracks on. So what I'm going to be doing is keeping the bundle folded in half. I'm going to pin them at the bottom part of the wig cap and pin it all the way till you get to that little flappy part. And this is where I'm going to pin the first track. And I'm going to cut it off right here. So I'm just going to sew through the weft a few times on the end just to secure it. And then I'm going to begin sewing around the weft to go all the way through to the other side. And every time I get to the end, I'm going to sew through the weft. And I'm going to be cutting the tracks, but I'm not going to be cutting the thread. So if there's thread left over, I'm just going to use that to go on to the next track. I'm not going to cut the track. I mean, I'm not going to cut the thread. So yeah, make sure when you're sewing this, you're avoiding the, the band part that's inside of the wig cap. It's an elastic band that stretches and expands and tightens up the wig. You don't want to sew through that. You want to definitely avoid that because if you sew through it, you won't be able to adjust your wig cap once you put the wig on once it's completed. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to cut off this little flappy part because it's not needed. And it's really going to make the wig lay funny on your head if you keep it. So I'm just going to cut off the corner and just make a straight line from where I have the tracks on on to where the closure is. 
so um i'm just gonna um take one track to um sew um, along that side so i'm gonna cut off the other side um the same way so what i'm gonna be doing is i'm gonna take a single track and i'm gonna connect it to the closure and go all the way around to the other side and connect it to the closure on the other side and i'm gonna pin along and sew like i did all the other tracks but this one i'm just gonna take all the way up to the closure Okay, so right here, I'm going to stop taking the tracks all the way up to the closure. And I'm just going to fill them in from the middle. And um, each track, I'm going to take in front of the track before. And I'm going to get closer and closer to where the closure and the other tracks met at. And once I finish, I'm going to make it all the way to the corner where the tracks originally met at. So you're going to see that. Keep in mind that I am cutting the tracks, so don't, even though it's going fast, don't think that I'm folding it over. I am cutting the tracks, and I just sprayed the closure with water so that I can get it out the way. But I did double all the tracks except for a few, um, and the last track, it was, uh, I did two tracks, but I had them separated. I sold them together. At, I sold them down at one time, but they were separated. So it is like two single tracks instead of two tracks sewn together, if that makes any sense to y'all. So once I finish showing, I'm going to cut 
the inside of the wig cap out and then I'm going to begin plucking. So I'm just going to spray it with water and pluck, pluck, pluck. I'm taking my time even though this video is sped up. I really am taking my precious time and plucking very carefully because I want my part to be very straight. So I pluck two rows of hair out. And I'm very specific that I only pluck that same two rows so that my closure part can be really, really, really straight. So that's what I'm doing here. So now that I'm done flat ironing it and styling it and making it look flat, I'm going to go ahead and add in some layers. I started in the front and then I worked my way around the back. Um, I decided to cut off about two inches of the hair at the bottom because I felt like it looked thin and I really felt like you could tell the difference between the 26, 24 and the shorter bundles or whatever. So I just decided to kind of cut some off and make it look more natural and make it flow in better together. And it gave the wig a much better look and a much more natural look and this is the end and this is how it all came out the hair is gorgeous it's very beautiful thanks for watching y'all